Good morning. Sorry it's been a little while. Um, it is Saturday. What is the date today? I don't even know. Hang on. Let's just check my phone and then we'll re-record that bit. It's the 9th of December, right? If this is your first visit, I'm Andy. This is Four Priests Brewery. Um, we're a small family-owned brewery based in Middlewich in Cheshire. Um, and we've made about 112 videos so far, just showing the progress of an empty warehouse to a fully functioning craft brewery, um, including everything that goes wrong and everything that goes right and everything in between. Um, and today is one of those days where everything's gone wrong. So we're gonna have to fix a few things. Um, I've got a few problems. One, we are, we massively under anticipated the interest in cans uh, for December, for Christmas. And as fast as I've been able to fill cans, they've been going back out of the door. So we're very low on cans again right now. I've got to get all the beer, all of the beer that we have ready to go into can, into can today um, on this little machine, um, which is no mean feat because it's slow. There's only two heads on it. Uh, it's completely manual, but we can get through with two people, we can do about 200 cans an hour if we really put our minds to it. I've got eight kegs of beer. We're canning from keg. Um, we don't have a bright tank yet, saving up for one. So keep watching the YouTube because they keep sending me a couple of quid every month. Um, we are um, doing eight kegs. Roughly the yield from each keg is about 57, 440 mil cans. Um, there's some wastage because it's in keg. So the first litre and a half is just slops we we can't really can that um and um there's another liter or so at the end that we discard as well just so we got the brightest beer in, into uh, into packaging again you know we could filter we could do some other things to improve that yield but at the moment that's that's how it is problem that i've got is this is buggered again um, it's a great piece of kit, but it's not designed for thousands and thousands of cans and, uh, and we've been absolutely hammering it lately. Um, I'll show you inside in a minute, but essentially I've got to replace one or both of the beer delivery hoses inside because they've become a bit hard um, and, um, uh, and work, work hardened, I think. Um, so I've got some new hose, we're going to get that in and then make sure we can, uh, we can fill before we start filling. The second challenge is everything froze again. For those of you that have watched the videos here before, last year, a cold snap happened and I wasn't anticipating it. We didn't have any antifreeze uh, glycol we use, uh, propylene glycol, it's food safe, etc. Um, we use it in the coolant lines that run around the fermenters to keep the temperature under control. And, um, and it froze here, the, the, the coolant froze in the lines and burst the copper tube inside the, um, inside the jacket of the fermenter, or one of the fermenters. Uh, and I swore I would get some glycol in before the cold snap this year, and I didn't, I was away, and I think I've burst it again. So what we've got to do is just use, using water, we're just gonna pump some coolant around the jacket and see if it starts to leak out of the bottom. If it does, then I've got to get the cowling off and replace or, or repair the, the pipes inside. Um, secondly, I've got, a, I've got a few other worrying puddles around and about, and I don't know where they've come from. Um, it might just be uh, condensation that's pooled in an area. It might be because one of the pumps has fractured inside. So, so I've got to fix those or we'll at least work out what the problem is. And then once we've done all that, we can brew. That's probably going to be tomorrow, if at all. Um, I'm low on Get Lucky, our American Pale. Um, plenty of cast beer, that's no problem at the moment, but certainly carbonated beer for cans um, and keg beer for pubs, we're out of stock, I've desperately got a brew. So let's get on with it. So this is the Duo Filler, it's, um, it's from Norway, it's a, a wonderful piece of kit and has enabled us to get beer into cans at relatively low cost, very low cost if I'm honest. Um, and what we've got at the front are these two pipes. Uh, steel, stainless steel tubes. The left one here is uh, a gas purge tube. The right hand one is where the beer is delivered into the can. And the process is uh, we press the button on the side, uh, gas comes out of this tube and purges the can. And then after about six seconds that stops, there's a pause and then the beer is delivered into the can to a predetermined level, um, which is either based on a timer or based on a sensor, which measures the, the back pressure up the gas pipe. Um, and then we put them on the uh, can seaming machine, put the lids on. 
Now the way this works, if you look at the beer delivery pipe here, this one, uh, it's quite a thick wall pipe. It's about six to seven millimeters diameter um, and internally about four-ish millimeters diameter. I've not measured it accurately. Um, and if we look inside, I've undone the screws already. If, if we look inside, the beer line comes in here, up here, and then through this um, solenoid pinch valve. I hope this is not blurry, um, but basically this, there's an actuator in here which pinches the tube, stops and starts the flow of beer, and then out and into the can. And there's one on this side as well here, which has the pipe, um, the tube is removed at the moment for reasons I will show you. This tube is basically pinched by that solenoid and, and what I found, it sort of relaxed back again now, but it was, it was white and it was pinched completely shut. Um, and I think just simply the number of actuations over a short period of time had, um, had damaged the tube somewhat. And um, the valve was struggling to, to uh, release, pinch and release it. Um, so I bought some replacement hose. You can get these from Duofiller, but I thought I would just try and see what I could do with a slightly thinner wall tube. Um, it may well be that the pinch valve doesn't pinch it tight enough to stop the flow, but we'll find out in a minute. So um, here's one I prepared earlier. There you go. This tube is a slightly thinner wall. So what we've got here is a submersible pump, it's a pond pump, uh, just in some warm water for now, uh, just to check that the pinch on that solenoid is doing what it should do. Um, obviously it won't draw the water up unless we pump it through, uh, normally it's expecting uh, gas to drive the beer through. So we'll let the pump get primed, yeah you see it's pushing through already. Okay, so that's both on. If I stop the left one, which has the official duo filler hose on, stops. If I turn the right one off, it's still leaking past. So that hose idea has not worked. Uh, it must need that thicker wall or na narrower bore for that particular solenoid. So we're going to have to either just use the left side or I'm going to I'm actually going to put that hose on, but turn it round so that the bit that was worn and pinched is, um, is elsewhere now. And hopefully that other bit of hose, which used to be at the top, will be in the pinch valve and um, maybe that will solve the problem for us. Uh, that looks fine to me. Let's get the cowling back on and we'll give it another whirl with the water. It should be purging now, there's no gas so you can't hear it. And after six seconds, the beer will flow. And then when the beer finishes, it will stop. There's probably just residual liquid in the pipe, I think. Yeah, I think we're all right. On the other side, same again, count to six or seven. Okay, we're good. Right, I'll swap this water for sanitizer now. It did get cleaned after the last use properly, so we'll get some sanitizer through it next. Um, and then we can uh, get, the, get the keg connected. So oh, you've got green eyes, so oh, you've got blue eyes, so oh, you've got grey eyes. Oh, you've got green eyes, oh, you've got blue eyes, oh, you've got grey eyes. And I've never seen anyone quite like you before. Oh, I never.
it's Sunday already. Um, I under I underestimated the amount of work required to get those cans filled, and then the cannula broke a spring, which I've not replaced. Um, we just got on with it, so that made it quite difficult. And the left-hand side of the duo filler is still just ejecting masses of foam for some reason. I've had it to bits. My, I can only think it's that pinch valve, so I'm going to order two replacement pinch valves for it. We'll get those in and see if we can get the left side running. It didn't actually slow us down too much because um, we got into uh, a bit of a flow, really. Me and Elliot, uh, who's been here yesterday and today, getting the canning done, so he's really saved me some time. Um, it would have been a lot longer than it was, and it was long enough already, as I've said. But we now have cans, with one exception. We're very low on one. Let me show you what we got. So you might remember we were out of stock very, very quickly uh, when I gave uh, a bit of a heads up that we had beer ready for uh, Christmas potentially. So thanks to the customers that ordered and, I, and I'm really sorry to those that, that missed out. Um, we released some the following weekend. I didn't make a fuss about it because I'd kind of told some of the customers that had missed out that they were coming into stock and get their orders in and, uh, and they did. So. I think we've got everybody covered that contacted me now. You've uh, you've got the beers you're after, um, and uh, and then we sold out again, pretty much. We had a few cans, literally a few cans of everything left, not enough to make up some mix packs. So this weekend really has been just getting as much beer as we can. I mean, we've emptied all of the kegs, all of these here. We've emptied them all into can, um, and that's what you see here now. So this is last chance before Christmas. Really, we're dispatching Tuesday well, Monday night probably, um, and then I'm away in Germany until Friday. We'll be doing another dispatch Friday night, Saturday. We're using Parcel Force 48, so even if you don't get your orders in right away, um, the, if we ship them Friday, they'll, it will still, uh, still make it with plenty of time for Christmas. There won't be any more going into can because I just haven't got anything left to put into can. Uh, we, we do need to brew. And one we need to brew, unfortunately, is Get Lucky. That's it, what you see in there. Uh, you see there's a mix of <laughs> black and silver cans as well because we uh, we really were running low on stock so I just used whatever containers we had. Um, but that is all of the Get Lucky we got left and if you consider there's there's three of those in a 12 pack um, and some customers will, will be ordering six at a time. Um, it may well be that the mix packs with Get Lucky sell out quicker than the others. We got stacks of Austin Dragon, four crates there, 40 in each. Um, four full crates and a few of Mergi at the back and loads of crossed out so still plenty of beer uh, just to get lucky I think it's going to go quick um, and you'll see any mix packs that contain that will show up on the site as, um, as sold out so I'm going to just pack a few orders now because I've got a few here so let's get a few orders packed I was going to mention I thought it'd be funny and I, and I realized it's probably not I was always going to mention some names of people that have ordered because um, I thought it'd be nice to say, hey, Joe Bloggs, here's your order, pack it. Um, but I've just realised these might be Christmas presents, so I'm only going to mention one name, and the other three, you might know who you are. If your order was in before 3.25 Sunday afternoon, and you haven't received it yet, it's probably one of these. So uh, I've got one, two, three, four orders to pack, I think. Oh, hang on. One, two, oh no, shit. One, two, three, four, five, six orders to pack. Um, which considering I haven't mentioned I've got beer yet, people are obviously checking the website, so thanks for that. So I can mention some of these. First order, Steve Cattell. Steve has done some absolutely amazing artwork. Um, we didn't ask, he's done a really, really good Christmas illustration for me, which I'm gonna use as a Christmas card next year, I think. Um, so he's not paying for these. This is a gift from me back to him because his, uh, his art is amazing. I'll put it on the screen. It's uncanny, the resemblance. Uh, and he is getting six Murgy Straits and I'm gonna drop them at his house on the way home. So let's get that picked. Um, you'll see here we've got our selection of cardboard boxes from the beerboxshop.co.uk, I think they're called. Um, and we've got sixes and twelves. If you order 24, and thank you if you do, it's mega. Um, I always get a little bit giddy when I see a 24 order. Um, but um, if you get a few order of 24, I send it in, I send it in two 12s because it's just a little bit easier. And um, I'm using back to this paper tape now. 
because you know we don't like plastic. But really, very much. We don't like plastic, so I'll put three strips of, uh, of tape on the bottom and then we go into the cold room and we'll put in Moogies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Moogies in the box. The right way up. Uh, if there's paperwork, sometimes I put it in, most often times I forget. And we'll seal the top up and then we get a four priest sticker just so they know where it's coming from that's what i'm not putting on the ones i think are christmas gifts by the way and then if it's going i didn't show you the stickers did i if you've not ordered before you'll have seen these if you've ordered before i use them quite a lot four priest stickers thank you they were from um can i mention his name i think i can adrian hill cheers mate he had them made, uh, one of his neighbours has got a little printing business. They used to belong to his daughter, I think. Um, and then we also, if we're going into Parcel Force, just because they kick them around the depot, hopefully someone will just take pity. We put a little Fragile sticker on as well. And the tape says Fragile on it. So, Steve Cattell, here it is. Ready to go. Stick that there. Who's next? Can I even see? Can I even say? He's ordered before, I can mention Patrick Bone. Patrick has ordered um, a six pack, two stout, two locky, two Moston. Two stout. Too locky. And two mustard. Let's see, stickers, square sticker. Oh. Fragile sticker. What I don't have with me are the parcel force labels. So I'm just gonna scribble the initials on each box. P, B. I've been chatting with Jim. Jim Fraser. What does Jim want? Jim wants two packs containing two each of Moogie, Lockie, Moston. So that's two sixes. Actually, what I'm going to do with that is stick them in a 12 box. Just makes it a bit easier to ship one box rather than two. Agile sticker and Four priest sticker, and that was for. Where's my pen? Jim. Okay, Jim, done. Next. Right, next two look to me like they might be Christmas gifts, so I'm not going to make them overtly. Four priests on the stickers, and I'm not going to mention any names. But I've got one with an Edinburgh postcode. And I've got another one with a Congleton postcode. 
you know who you are. A 12 pack. Three of everything, thank you. Three plus three plus three plus three. Moogie, Moston, Lockie, Stout. Congleton, 12 pack. Thank you so much. And finally, all the way to Stone Staffordshire, six Murgies. Right, so that is today's orders packed, ready to go. Just need to put the uh, delivery stickers on from Parcel Force 48. That's the stock that's left. Um, so if you want any, you know where to go. Thank you. Right, I'm gonna start checking some of these um, water leaks now, I think. Let's see how we get on with that. And we are done. I'm going to go home, get a chicken dinner, have a glass of wine, watch the telly. That thing's not leaking so far. I'm going to give it another few minutes, make sure there's no puddles underneath that haven't emerged yet. If that looks okay, we'll get some glycol in um, either this, this evening or perhaps tomorrow evening uh, after work. And then I'm off to Germany until Friday. We'll get any more orders that come in midweek. We'll get dispatched um, on Friday or Saturday, so you'll get those midweek next week. Uh, thanks again to everyone that's ordered. I'm sorry, you just caught me out completely. and I had no idea how thirsty you lot were. Um, so and it's great of you. Thanks for the, for the support for me and for the channel. Um, it really helps. You know, pub trade sales are a little bit slow right now. It's really the cans that have helped actually through, um, through December and end of November. So it means a lot and I appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one.